Hi, this is Maria with Gooseneck Implement. In this video, I'm going to cover the steps to calculate your total seeded acres with overlap and all sloughs removed, as well as the size of each slough. To get started, log into myjohndeer.com using Google Chrome or Safari. Click on Operations Center. Next, go to Setup and find Land in the drop-down. In Land, we will have to go field by field to create a new boundary. Start by clicking on the field you wish to create a boundary for. Do not put a check mark in the box, just click on the field name. Go to the top right corner of the screen and click Add. Select Boundary and from a previous operation, and next. On the bottom of this page, you will see a list of previous work. Select the work you would want to make a boundary from. In this case, it is seeding wheat, May 23rd, 2022. Go back to the top of that page and you will need to name this boundary. This is important for later on when you will need to print. You need to name your boundary, what you did, the date, and the total area. So for this example, I will name the boundary wheat 523-2022, 280.32 acres. To find the total acres, look right above the preview map. Hit save. On this page, we have the ability to edit this boundary and we also have the ability to measure any exterior sloughs that were not included. To measure those, click on the ruler icon and draw all the way around your slough by clicking. Once you get back to the beginning dot, click on that and a white box on the top of the screen will show the total acres included within that shape. Click the ruler again to close out of that feature or to start drawing again. When you're finished with this field, hit save on the bottom left of the screen. Go to the top left of the page and select land to get back to your field list. Once you're back on the screen, you will continue to go through your fields, creating a boundary for each one, each field, with all of the interior shapes and acreages. To do this, click on boundaries. In the search bar, type in 2022. This is why we needed to include that in our boundary name. Put a check mark on the top of the bar to the left of name. This will select all boundaries with 2022 in their name. Go up to the top right and hit export. Select PDF and you must also put a check mark in list boundary shapes. Hit export. Once downloaded, open the PDF up. On the first page, you will show a map with all of our exterior boundaries from all fields. If you scroll down, the following pages will be all of your 2022 boundaries for each individual field. On the top left, we can see client, farm, and field. The map itself shows the pink boundary displaying the exterior of the field with all interior sloughs listed out on the legend with their individual acreages. The total seeded acres for each field you would have included in your boundary name. So here it would be 280.32 acres. You can also find this number by adding together your exterior boundaries and subtracting all of the interiors. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you need any more help getting your data into the Operations Center, we have included links to uploading data and getting set up in the Operations Center. If you need any further assistance, please reach out to your local Gooseneck Implement. Thank you.